These are definitely my best purchases so far this year from Hermes. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk you through some of my best and worst purchases. Bags that have disappointed me, that haven't lasted the test of time, that I think do not elevate the look, do the opposite and bring down the whole look. Bags that you don't wanna invest your money into. And then I'm gonna show you my favorite go-to bags that I love, that I wear on repeat, that cost per wear are very good value for money, <laughs> that you need to add to your wish list. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my weekly videos and let's get into it. We are gonna start with the worst. It may look very beautiful. It's very plush with this gorgeous padding. Doubles up as a pillow, very soft. And I saw this and I thought it looked super cool. This big gold chain which is kind of like jewelry. It's like an art piece in itself. Now here's the catch. The weight of this bag is immense. The last thing I wanna do is feel weighed down by a heavy bag that I have to lug around with me. And unfortunately, that is the case with this bag. It's just so heavy. And I think obviously the reason is, is the gold chain. But because of that, I rarely wear it. I definitely don't want to travel with it. I never got a lot of wear out of it for that reason. It is a pricey bag, so that is unfortunate. That is one of my worst purchases. <laughs> the next worst purchase would be this Dior Lady bag. From far away, you might think, why is that a bad purchase? The signature Lady Dior bag is a classic. I'm sure you have it on your wish list. It's one of these styles of bags that doesn't go out of fashion. However, I decided to get it in white, and the color is definitely different from when I bought it. It's got dirty marks around the handles. The color looks more like a yellowish, like an off-white than a white. I will send it in for repair because I'm not yet ready to say goodbye to it, but it did make me rethink getting white handbags that you have to hold. Now, this bag, I got maybe two th months of wear before the strap broke off, completely off, as I bought this online in Etta Porter. I wasn't able to send it back to Net Porter, so I went to Handbag Clinic. They held the bag for over six months, so I didn't get to see the bag. Then when I got the bag back, I noticed, now I don't know whether that was me, but it's dented. And a dented bag does not look new. Therefore, it looks old and used, and you don't want to be wearing a bag that looks old and used and tired. So I didn't have a great relationship with this one. Next one is this blue satchel bag. Now, in principle, it is an amazing bag. It is a gorgeous Hermes. I have to say, I've had the least amount of wear out of it. Maybe worn it once, twice, had it for a good few years. It's in perfect condition. And I do, I do love the color, I love blue. I just haven't had much use for the style of it. But I'm waiting for the moment, the right moment to come where I feel the need to wear this style of bag. Who knows, you might see it styled up in a video, but so far this was not the best purchase. Next one is this little one. Beautiful mint green Chanel clutch in snakeskin. I have to say, I didn't wear it that often. Didn't wear it that much, it's a very particular bag. But unfortunately, it got dirty very quickly. Now how are you able to clean snakeskin? It's very delicate. Therefore, it looks a bit tired. It's got like, it's a little bit of discoloration. I don't think I'm gonna be able to bring this back to life. It was a very cute bag and I love this color. Alas, I'm not gonna wear it again. My other two worst purchases were this one and this one. Let's start with this one. So I got this one in New York at Bergdorf and Goodman. And I thought, wow, it's this gorgeous raspberry red. I don't know for what reason, but I just felt this bag was a little bit mature looking. It was like a little bit aging, and that's the last thing I want. I even have a sticker still on here. Point is, is that it has not even been worn. I think I wore it once in New York for a photo shoot. Any bag that's aging, I want to stay well away from. Now this bag, I actually was inspired to do the colors of my, of my channel art on my YouTube, on my blog. I just fell in love with this color a few years ago. I thought it was so beautiful. As you can still see, it's got the stickers on. It's even got the tag. And everything inside. 
I haven't wanted a sell it because it is so beautiful, but I've just never worn it, not even once. I do have a very similar bag and a mess bag in this color, so that's one of the reasons why I thought I'm gonna wear my Hermes over this one. But I think it's also the size. I think the size of these bags, even though they're not really big, they're not small and they're not large either. And I just think they're this like in-between shape. Let's move on to my best purchases. In terms of cost per wear, I have to say this bag has been everywhere with me. I have traveled to Timbuktu and back. <laughs> This bag fits everything in. You don't have to even do it up. You can cram so much in it, it doesn't need to be closed. I actually now replace this bag with the Goyard travel bag that I have. Again, cost per wear. I wear it all the time when I'm traveling and I travel almost every week. So it's very useful and yeah, great for storage and space, super practical. Whereas something like this, also very spacious, and big. I don't wear as much because first of all you can't put as much in and second of all you have to close the flap you know but this is a beautiful one and I do still love this one. Best purchases are always when you buy in store an Hermes bag. Love this bag so much. I love how it's a bit slouchy in this gorgeous soft togo leather. I love the palladium hardware with the grey. Gorgeous colour for this time of year. So special but it's definitely something that I would want to always have the dust bag over when I'm traveling with it so that you protect this gorgeous leather. Another best purchase of mine is this beautiful nautical bag. Now you're probably thinking it's not so practical, but it is almost like a piece of jewelry. And I still justify it as it's a two-in-one bag. <laughs> you're gonna wear the bag like this for a more simple look, or you can wear it on the front. Um, you know, it's a collector's item. So for me, this is one of the best purchases I've ever made in Chanel. Moving on to a trendy but very practical bag is my Picatan. And I just love the simplicity of this bag, the soft leather, the color, and this beautiful morph, Sylvester morph pink. So pretty. This was also one of my favorite purchases because it's so unique, something different to a handbag, and it's got a much more cool, sporty aesthetic. I would definitely have this bag in my favorites. A go-to bag, palladium hardware, Epsom leather. Just a beautiful bag. It's just such a classic and a staple. Love being hands-free as well, which is super helpful. My Birkin 25 with rose gold hardware. These are definitely my best purchases so far this year from Hermes. You know, and the value they have now, once I step out of the store, you know, obviously uh, on the resale market, they're considerably more than what I paid for them. But I am an end user and I don't actually sell my own handbags on. So I'm very happy with my purchases. My Constance bag, it's a medium size, it's exotic rouge, ostrich, I just love this pop of colour, especially if I'm wearing a lot of black in the winter, I feel like I need that pop. Last but by no means least is my Chanel flat bag with the handle. I love it because it doubles up as both a clutch bag but also you can wear it over the shoulder. It's so special, um, it's something I can wear day to night and I wear it a lot, I try to keep the best care of it as possible. I don't tend to travel with bags like this because they end up getting ruined. It's such a soft leather, it's lambskin leather, and they get crushed in the suitcase and everything, and that's just not about that. I just don't wanna take that risk. That is it for my best and worst purchases. I wanna hear what bags did you buy that were let down, disappointment, didn't meet the expectations, or bags that now you look at and you're like, oh God, can't wear that. Um, if you like this style of video, please let me know in the comments, hit the subscribe button below, come join, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.